this we adore you for a time like this we thank you for the gift of life and we thank you for the opportunity to share in your word even today we ask lord god that by your spirit you expose your word you will shine your light upon us all in jesus name amen praise the lord hallelujah Amen. Beloved, it's another day in this wonderful December, a day that we rejoice and be glad in. And we give God glory for the opportunity to come again to you today. Today we'll be reading from Genesis chapter 1. Now, it's going to be a long read, but there's a reason, all right? Genesis chapter 1. I'll be reading from verse 1. Up to perhaps 13 or even more. Hallelujah. Now, that scripture says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the heaven was, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said that there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, and it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning was the first day and God said let there be firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters and God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament and it was so and God called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the water called the seas. And God saw that it was good. And the Lord said, Let the earth bring forth grass, and the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit. After his kind, who we'll see this in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and the earth yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after its kind, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide the morning, the day, and the, from the night. And let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven, to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven, to give light upon the earth and to rule over the earth, over the night, and to guide the light from the darkness, and also that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. We'll stop there for now. Hallelujah. May God bless the reading of his word. Now, beloved, it was good, is what we are talking about. It was good. The year is ending. We are literally eight days away from the new year and the question has been ah, what has happened see listen every time that God did something in the creation story the day did not end the day was not pronounced as ended but the God looked and pronounced that what he done was good you know Jeremiah was so worried about his age and his person. And God had to remind him, listen, even before you were born, I knew you. In your mother's womb, I already had an understanding of who you are, what you will be. In Isaiah 43, it says, that see, I know you by name. That I will give up Egypt and Sheba for your sake. He said, when you pass through the waters, it's not for it to drown you, neither for the fire to burn you. He said, but by these things, you will know that I love you, that I am your God. 
That the fire is to purify you. Just like gold is made beautiful by refinement in fire. And the water is to wash you clean. Hallelujah. So, everything that God created is good. Including you. Including you. If you go down to verse 26 and down, and God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the earth, of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So we have a dominion mandate. And when God finished with us, it was good. In verse 31 of Genesis chapter 1, it says, And God saw everything he has made, and behold, it was good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. The evening and the morning, and it was the sixth day. You notice that there was a sequence. There was a declaration about the goodness of each of the creations of God before the conclusion of those days. It means, therefore, that you are not a mystic. It means that your 2021 is not over. It means that it doesn't matter what has not been working. God is not closing 2021 without the pronunciation that it was good for you. So in the next few days, begin to declare it because there is power of life out there. In the, your tongue, it is good. It is good. It is good. And it will be good. But you see, it can only be good if you understand your dominion mandate. And your dominion mandate cannot be yours if you do not have a relationship with this God. Who gave his only begotten son for me and for you that you might have an access to all that God has made for us. And that's why in the book of Revelation, Scripture tells us that Jesus knocks at the door of our heart. He wants to come in and sup with us, but we have a, a, a duty. We need to open up. Allow him coming. Because when he died on the cross, he died for my sake and for your sake, that we may be redeemed and be restored back to the dominion mandate that was the purpose of our creation in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. It was good, it is good, it will be good. It is not over or it is good until it is good for you. But make Jesus your Lord. Call the numbers on the screen. I will be there to pray with you as Jesus is the way. God bless you. Amen.